Uh, today, uh, we are looking at the John chapter 1 verse 5. Uh, the Greek text uh, it says in this way, Kai to pos and to scotia paine kai he scotia auto u katalaben. So I put each word, uh, English translation, and the light in the darkness appear and the darkness it not take eagerly. So when we go to English Bible, uh, I'm looking at the New King James, and the light shines in the darkness, and the darkness did not comprehend it. Obviously here it is the light. Light is it as a pronoun. And then they translate the light shines. And then I translate, the light appears. So on this appears and shine, uh, the verb is the pine. Pine. When you're looking at the dictionary, pine is the strong number 15316. Pine. Pine. You can translate either lighten or shine or to appear or show. And then the uh, uh, pino is a transitive, which is a grammatical terminology. What is a transitive? The sentence has an object, right? Mm -hmm. But this sentence does not have object. So in this case, it's intransitive, which is better to translate as appear instead of shine. If you say the light shine, it has to come object. Something or someone, right? But this one, the light and verb, there is no such object. So, appear. So, who is the light? We learned from the verse 4, many long hours. The great light is the Christos Jesus. Whoever learned from the Christos Jesus, crucified together, resurrected together, to become the last Adam. And last Adam is the light of the world. And then we call they are the 12 disciples in the New Testament Bible. So the light appears. Christos Jesus is appeared. Last Adam is appeared. Appear where? In the darkness. In the darkness. But when we're looking at the appears, topos pinei, the Greek Grammar, morphological analysis code is VIPA. VIPA stands for verb indicative. Indicative is the simple statement. Present passive. As you see on my sermon note, I put as a red, bold color, P. Which means light appear as what status? Present. Present. Okay? So light is always appear present where is the location in the darkness. So when we see the in the darkness, I put here also Greek analysis morphological code here N D F S. N stands for noun. Obviously, darkness is the noun, and then D stands for dative. F stands for feminine. S stands for singular. So this is the noun, dative, feminine, singular form, scotia. So scotia is the feminine. We know the light, which is the pause. The gender is the neuter, which is the mediator function, mediator role, right? So the light, Christos Jesus as a mediator, the light as the apostle Paul, as the messenger, appears, why? In the darkness, right? So the darkness as a feminine, feminine role is what? Receiver and producer, right? So darkness needs to receive the light. Once darkness receives the light, and then the darkness transforms to become the light, right? Darkness transforms to become the light. And then this light 
also shine and appear to another what? Another darkness. So there is the light and there is the darkness. So last t h e r a m is the light, right? Mm -hmm. And then the light appears as present here. When we're talking about the, how can we understand the tense in the Bible, I already explained that. Past become a present, right? Future becomes the present. So Christian is the present man, right? Kingdom of heaven is present. Present is the permanent. Okay? So past is the knowing part. Future is the unknown part, right? I was using it as the watching the YouTube channel like a movie, right? Mm -hmm. Once you know all salvation process, once you know all your redemptive history, then past becomes present, future becomes present, right? But when we go to the book of Revelation, the status of the beast, they are not present. You want to look at that? Let's go to the book of Revelation. Uh, book of Revelation chapter 17. And then here, start from the one of the seven angels who had the seven b o w came and talked with me, saying to me, Come, I will show you judgment of the great harlot who sit on many waters. Right? And then whom the king of the earth committed fornication, and the inhabitants of the earth were made drunk with the wine of her fornication. When we coming down, when we coming down, verse 7, but the angel said to me, why did you marvel? I will tell you the mystery of the woman. This woman is the great Babylon, right? And of the beast that carries her. So this beast carried the woman. This woman is the mother of Harlot, right? And which has the seven heads and ten horns. And then verse 8. The beast that you saw was. Look at this was in the Greek text. And. Isn't that a familiar word to you? When we study uh, John chapter 1 verse 1. And a r k e And is and, right? And ho logos, in my beginning, in my sealed head, the word is what status? In perfect status. You see here, V-I-I-A, verb, indicative, imperfect, active. So what is the beast status? English translate was here, you saw was, but this beast is what status? Imperfect status. Cannot become a perfect, right? That's why through the second Adam, Christos Jesus, crucified together, resurrect together to become one with Christos Jesus. Until we become the perfect man, based upon the Ephesians chapter 4, verse 13, our status is what status then? Imperfect status, isn't it? Right? So, still past and future exist, not become the perfect, which is a present man who call as the Christian, right? That's why the beast, when we go to the book of Revelation chapter 13, the number of beasts is the number of human beings. That is what? 666, right? Mm -hmm. Which is imperfect human being, isn't it? Which is remain as the just first era. Even though they meet the second era, they didn't crucify together. They didn't resurrect together. Which is, they are the friend of the serpent. They are the friend of the beast. And then this bad beast carried to who? The mother of Harlot, great Babylon, right? So this beast is the delivering the message of what then? Based upon what we learn from the 2 Corinthians chapter 11. Another Jesus, right? Different spirit, right? Different gospel, right? That's the imperfect. You know, whoever Christian believes and then waiting for the second coming Jesus, what is that means then? Their belief is for future, isn't it? The mystery of God and Christ is not 
fully manifested yet, isn't it? The Bible is still closed the book, isn't it? Which means Bible is the book of death instead of to become the book of life, isn't it? So they are receiving what? The message from who? Message from this beast, isn't it? Imperfect belief. So the beast you saw is imperfect. And then look at the next one. And is not. The Greek text is kai uk estin. Kai uk estin. Estin is what? V I P A, right? Verb, indicative, present. And then there is a negative word is what? U, which is not exist. Exist. Which is present is not exist. So they are in perfect status. They are not present. So beast is not present. In perfect status. Right? And then will ascend out of the bottomless pit and go to perdition. So eventually this beast will go into where? When we go to the book of Revelation chapter 20. Second death, right? Lake of fire is it? Right? So, very important point is showing up here. The light appeared. People who believe Jesus appeared. Jesus showing up 2,021 years ago. What kind of gospel they are believed in? Only past, isn't it? Because 20, 21 years ago, 2021 years ago. That's the past, right? Or second coming Jesus, not coming yet. It could be tonight, it could be tomorrow, it could be a year later, it could be 100 years later. Who knows? It has been 2021 years after Jesus crucified and resurrected, right? And then promised to coming again. So what kind of belief do they have here they, as a Christian? They know the past, what happened, right? 2021 years ago. And they are waiting for the second coming Jesus, which is the future. Do they have a present then? Their belief is not present. That's why here, book of Gospel, the book of John here says, the light appears past or future. None of them, isn't it? The light appears present. It will be present permanently. People who crucify together and resurrected together. We are the present man. Permanently. We shine, we appear to the darkness as a present person. Not the past person, not the future person. That's the present means. So the light appears present. And then the location is in the darkness, right? In, in. So I put here in, in. In the darkness. So the location is in my heart. The light shine in my heart. Based upon the Second Corinthians chapter 4, verse 6 through 7, we are going to look at that. So light shine through my eyes, right? Light shine through my ears. And the, the final destination is where? In my heart. Light will remain. Light will abide in my heart. How long? Permanently. As a present status. So then, with that light appears, let's look at, in the darkness, we're going to look at the next one. But let's understand light appears. I just mentioned about, explain about that is the present. And then light appear, the first one, the pine, which is pino, showing in the Matthew chapter 1, verse 20 through 21. Let's go there, Matthew 120. Before we go down to 20, the verse 1, 
Everybody read this verse one many, many, many times. Probably in English sentence, obviously, right? Not in the Greek text, isn't it, right? Here talking about the book of genealogy of Jesus Christ, the son of David, the son of Abraham. You know, chapter 1 is talking about the genealogy of Jesus Christ. It looks like it, right? But when we're coming down, it's talking about 14 generation, 14 generation, and 14 generation, he said it, right? But people who carefully read on Matthew chapter 1, if you count each person in Matthew chapter 1, 14 generation plus 14 generation plus 13 generation. There's one generation is missing. Okay? So I'm going to explain that in the future. And then anyhow, the book of genealogy, when you say genealogy, the Greek word is geneseos, which is, lemma is genesis. Genesis. You know, here they translate genealogy, which is the strong number 1078. When we coming down, born of Jesus, same thing, Genesis, same word showing up here. Verse 18, now the birth of Jesus Christ. Look at the birth. You see, Genesis and Genesis 1078 and 1083 also, right? Genesis, then it's, they translate what? Birth of Jesus Christ, right? So then this is what then? Verse 1. The book of birth of Jesus Christ. In order for me to become a book of life, Christos Jesus has to be born where? Through me, inside me, isn't it? That's what I'm going to about to explain to you here. Messenger of Lord appeared. When light appears in the darkness, what's supposed to happen? Christos Jesus supposed to be born inside you. That's the reason light appears to your life. That's the reason Christos Jesus as a second man, second Adam, coming to see you. So, you have bring forth the Son, whose name is Jesus, Jesus. Let's go to the 120. Uh, we start from the verse 18. Now the birth of Jesus Christ was as follows. After his mother Mary was betrothed to Joseph, before they came together, she was found with the child of the Holy Spirit. Then Joseph, her husband, being a just man and not wanting to make her a public example, was minded to put her away secretly. But while he thought about these things, behold, 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 idu, idu, idu translates behold, which means understand, perceive. You have to understand this one. You have to perceive this one. That's the idu. Behold, angel of the Lord appeared. Angelos kyriu kataoner epane. Messenger of Lord down from dream was appeared. Was appeared. Here translate as appeared, right? Same word, right? Light appeared. The Lord of Angel, this is the Aorist passive form, which is was appeared. Joseph, son of David, do not be afraid to take you, take to you, marry your wife, for that which he conceived in her is of the Holy Spirit. And she will bring forth a son, and you shall call his name Jesus, for he will save his people from their sins. So here, Joseph, right? So the messenger of the Lord appeared, appeared down from the dream. So Joseph had a dream, isn't it? What kind of dream is talking about? Joseph is the Greek word, 
which is the Yosef. Yosef. Let's go to the Yosef. Um, you see Yosef. 2501, right? Let's go to the dictionary. 2501. Greek 2501. Yosef, right? Yosef comes from the Hebrew origin 3130, right? 3130. Yosef, right? Yosef means what? Let him add, right? Let him add. So the meaning of Yosef is add, right? Look at the Yosef. It is the future of 3254. That's the verb though. You see here? Yasap. Yasap. What is the difference between Yasap and Yosef? Between the Yod and then Samek, there is what? Vav, isn't it? Vav. So Vav needs to what? Add, right? So let him add means what? Let Miriel. What is the meaning of Vav? Hebrew alphabet meaning, connecting link, right? Mediator, hook. So hook is added, isn't it? Right? Christos Jesus, the mediator, needs to be added, right? In order for Mary, bring forth what? The son, whose name is Jesus, right? In order for Jesus is born inside me, I have to become a Mary, we are going to look at the meaning of Mary. What has to be added? The Vav, mediator. Apostle Paul say that, previous my explanation sermon will say that, when we go to the second Corinthians, it says what? I espouse you, present as your test virgin to one of men who is Christ, Christos Jesus, isn't it? Christ. So Apostle Paul is the last Adam. He's the mediator between the woman and the man who is the Christ. Christ is the mediator between the human being and the Father God, isn't it? God Father. So those are the mediator role, which is Yosef, Yosef. Bob needs to be added, right? Bob needs to be added. And then on his dream, what kind of dream Yosef has? When we go to the Genesis 49, verse 20 to 24, let's go there. Forty-nine, twenty-two. Here, the Jacob, which is a Jacob, is blessing to his twelve sons, which becomes the twelve each tribe of the Israel, right? And then he talking about Joseph is the fruitful bow, a fruitful bow by a well. His branches run over the wall. The archers have bitterly grieved him shoot at him and hated him. But his bow remained in strength and the arm of his hand were made strong by the hand of mighty God of Jacob. From there is the shepherd, the son of Israel. Uh, the stone of Israel. So stone of Israel is the shepherd, right? The shepherd is from where? From the Joseph, isn't it? So shepherd, the stone of Israel, needs to be added, right? Added to who? Mary, Maria, right? But anyhow, there is some uh, incorrect translation. You know, here it says, Joseph is a fruitful bow. This is a wrong translation, though. You see, Ben Porat, right? I would like to show you the 49.22. You see here, Ben. Ben is what? Ben is the son. Okay. And then, Horat. Horat is what? Bear fruit. So Joseph is what? Son of bearing fruit. Because you see, V Q P A F S, right? Carbor present participle, isn't it, right? Participle is ing, right? So bearing fruit, right? And then ben is the noun, right? So it is not the bow, it is the son of bearing fruit. Okay? So let him add. Addition is the one 
bearing the fruit. Okay? And then, same thing. Son of bearing upon fountain, right? Mm -hmm. So, whenever Joseph received the spring water, which is a living water, when we go to the uh, John chapter 4, woman of Samaria, Jesus was talking about the living water, isn't it? Right? So, when living water is added, added to the Mary, what's supposed to happen? The fruit is supposed to be bearing, right? Then fruit is what then? Fruit of lips, fruit of light, fruit of Holy Spirit, right? Mm -hmm. Fruit of eternal life. That is what New, New Testament is talking about, the fruit. And then good fruit, right? Good fruit. Mm -hmm. And then next one is panot. You see, panot today translates the branch. But panot is not branch though. Panot is pot. Pot is the daughter. You see here, pot. Right here, panot. You see, pot says what? Daughter, daughter. Okay? So daughter, daughter has run upon the war, right? Daughter has run upon the war. Mm -hmm. So what is the meaning of daughter? You see the pot, and then bet is the house, right? Tab is the goal. So what is the meaning of daughter? What is the goal of daughter? To become the house, right? Goal to become a house. Once you become a house, daughter becomes what then? Then, right? Son, right? Mm -hmm. So in order for the daughter to become a son, it has to run over the wall, right? And who blocked the wall? Who blocked you? Oh, darkness is blocked you, right? Serpent is blocked you, right? 666 is blocked you, right? Which is the number of human beings, right? The wind of this world is blocked you, isn't it? Okay? You have to be overcome. That's why Book of Revelation repeatedly say many, many times, overcome who he overcome, who he overcome, who he overcomes, right? And then who anyone who has an ear, let him hear, right? Because the Holy Spirit says so. You have to overcome. Run over the over the wall, right? About this one, when we go to the Psalm 18, 29. I know there is some minor uh, translation problem here, but 29. For by you I can run against the troops. But my God, I can leap over a wall. Same thing, right? Mm -hmm. We can leap over a wall, right? We have to jump over the wall, right? Mm -hmm. Who blocked the Israelite in the land of Egypt? Pharaoh blocked, right? The Pharaoh's troops blocked. So Moses and Israelite is not able to exit out of the Egypt, isn't it? Right? Those troops. Okay? So you have to overcome. You have to leap. You have to spring. You have to jump over the war. So the daughter of the Israel to become the sons of Israel. So that dreaming is happening here. Genesis chapter 49. So, Joseph is the bearing fruit, son of a bearing fruit. And bearing fruit, a well, right? Upon, bearing fruit, upon well, which is a fountain, okay? Daughter has run upon the wall, right? Upon the wall. And then we are keep on going, uh, 23, and uh, next sermon.